Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I took this pile of pallet wood and I turned it into this awesome desk. So this was actually my first pallet project and it will probably be my last just because it was a lot, a lot of sanding. I basically ran all my boards through this drum sander until I had a mostly good, decent pile of pallet wood. I also had to be pretty selective about the wood that I was using because a lot of it was chipped or it had deep cracks along the edges. With all of the pallet wood sanded down, I decided to start with assembling the base of the desk. I did this using a half inch plywood. I cut two equal pieces that were about 22 inches deep and about four feet wide that would act as the top and the bottom of my desk. And then using some of the 2x4s from the pallet wood, I cut them down so that I could separate and leave a space for drawers and storage for the desk. This part is optional. You can see here that I'm running everything through the table saw just to get rid of that rounded edge. With a little bit of help from my client, we decided to glue and screw the 2x4s into the half inch plywood and we also made sure to glue them in place. And don't forget to countersink those screws so that you have a flush surface to be able to put the pallet wood on top for the herringbone design. I did want both of my drawers on either side of the desk to be equal distances, and so I used a scrap piece of wood as a spacer to make sure that both sides were equal. For added stability, I did add 2x4s along the back side of the desk as well. For the herringbone pattern on the top, I decided to take the sanded pieces from the pallet project and I set up a stop block and then made equal cuts so that all of my pieces were the exact same distance and width. And then laid them out on top of the desk using a square and then lining up my points on my line so that everything would be level. And then I nailed and screwed them in place. As I was applying the pieces to the top, I realized that I needed to put the pallet wood pieces around the sides of my desk so that I knew where to cut off the pallet wood on the top. And so here you see me cutting down those pieces and then I also decided to screw these to the sides of the desk rather than just nailing because they were a little more warped and I wanted to make sure that they would stick to my desk and not go anywhere. With the side I just put on, I could go ahead and finish laying the herringbone pattern along the top. And then once that was done, I took a square and I made a line down all of the edges that I could follow with a jigsaw. And then I used a flush trim bit on my router to make everything nice and flush with the side of the desk. That pretty much sums up the assembly part for the top portion of the desk. At this point, it was just a lot of sanding, and then I also used some of the sawdust from the sanding to glue and fill in those holes and little cracks in the top, and then some more sanding. The next part of the build was for the drawers, and I used the same half-inch plywood to assemble the drawers. I just cut them down to their respective lengths and honestly it was a really simple build. I just cut them and then nu nude and then I glued and nailed them together. These are shallow drawers, they're not going to be holding lots of weight so I wasn't too concerned about it and my client opted to not do drawer slides so it was a pretty simple build.
There were a couple of really cool pieces of pallet wood that we decided to use for the drawer fronts. They weren't quite tall enough, so I had to cut them down, glue them together, and then cut them down to the right measurements so that they would fit on the drawer faces. I simply just attach these pieces using wood glue and clamping. The last portion of this build was going to be a shelf that is going to be screwed at the base of the metal legs that were purchased. We were really running out of pallet wood at this point, so we decided to use some of the leftover 2x4s, which probably works better anyways because there weren't any cracks or um, breakage in it and it was going to hold lots of heavy books for my client. So I simply used a pocket hole to go ahead and glue and screw these pieces together. With everything built, we went ahead and used a gray weathered stain to stain all of the pieces and then sealed it with a clear poly, making sure to sand in between coats until smooth. My client bought these really cool metal legs off of Amazon and they were really easy to put on. They pretty much already came with these spots so that you can pre-drill and screw the base into the desk. And then it leaves this all other portion where you can put a shelf that kind of sits in the bottom in the back where she'll be putting her books. And here it is. I still do need to add some poles to the drawers, but other than that, it is all finished and it is looking pretty, pretty awesome. Like I said, it was quite a bit of work uh, being pallet wood, but we were able to get everything built out of the pallet wood other than the half a sheet of plywood that was used for the base of the desk. The herringbone pattern along the top makes it just really unique and rustic and awesome. I really enjoyed this build. My client also loves it. Uh, it was a fun project where she was able to help me do a lot of this and it was a good learning experience. If you like this kind of content, please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.